Said we'd be driving some British classics, and you don't get more British than a car built in Birmingham designed by a man from... Greece. Anyway, here it is, an original Mini Cooper S, an icon of 60s engineering. It was designed for cities, but this is the wide-body one, so we're going to need a bit more room. And I know just the place. Ready, Stick? The Mini is cleverly packaged, capable of carrying four people and their luggage. Hand luggage, presumably. to beat on the famous Monte Carlo rally. They pretty much wiped the floor with the competition. John Cooper, who also built F1 cars, so it has real racing pedigree. Saloon Car Championship, the Thousand Lake Rally, even the Australian Touring Car Championship. Almost any time the Mini turned up, it won. And here we are. I told you it was spacious. We've got everything we need here. An airfield, the original rapid runabout, and the Stig. I'm looking forward to this. Look at that, laying down some rubber there. Not that it has much to lay. After all, tiny wheels mean tiny tires. Punches well above its weight. It's literally unstoppable. Forget rallying, this thing was made for demolition derbies. They sold nearly five and a half million minis. But only this one could fly, apparently. Now that's just showing off. What is it with minis and shipping containers?
Let's have another crack at this. 